David's death, Bible verses about King David's death, 25 Bible verses about King David's death list verse and description, Bible verses about King David's death 2 Samuel 1 17-18, David lamented with this lamentation over Saul and Jonathan his son, he also instructed that it be taught to the people of Judah, behold, it is written in the book of Yashar, he said, your glory, O Israel, is slain on your high places, how the mighty have fallen. This verse describes the death of King Saul and his son Jonathan in battle, which David mourns in the book of Yashar, 2 Samuel 14 14, we must all die, we are like water spilled on the ground, which cannot be gathered up again, but God does not take away life, instead, he devises ways so that a banished person may not remain estranged from him. This verse speaks about the universal truth of death and how God works to give us hope in the midst of it. 1 Kings 2.10, then David reclined on his bed, and died, he was buried in the city of David. This verse simply states the fact that David died and was buried in the city of David. 2 Samuel 23 1-2, now these are the last words of David, the utterance of David son of Jesse, the utterance of the man exalted by the Most High, the man anointed by the God of Jacob, the sweet psalmist of Israel. The Spirit of the Lord spoke through me, His word was on my tongue. This verse speaks about David's last words, which were spoken by God through him. 1 Chronicles 29 28, and he died in a good old age, full of days, riches, and honor. This verse speaks about David's death and how he died with honor and riches. Psalm 23 4, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. This verse speaks about walking through the valley of the shadow of death, but not fearing evil because God is with us. 2 Samuel 7 12-13, when your days are fulfilled and you lie down with your fathers, I will raise up your offspring after you, who shall come from your body, and I will establish his kingdom. He shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. This verse speaks of God's promise to David, that he will raise up a descendant to succeed him and establish a kingdom that will last forever. 2 Samuel 12 22-23, he said, While the child was still alive, I fasted and wept, for I said, Who knows, the Lord may be gracious to me, and the child may live. But now he is dead, why should I fast? Can I bring him back again? I shall go to him, but he will not return to me. This verse speaks of David's grief at the death of his son, and how he realizes that he cannot bring him back. 1 Chronicles 28 2-3 Then King David rose to his feet and said, Hear me, my brethren and my people. I had it in my heart to build a house of rest for the ark of the covenant of the Lord, and for the footstool of our God, and had made preparations to build it. But God said to me, You shall not build a house for my name, for you are a man of war and have shed blood. This verse speaks of God's instructions to David, that he could not build the temple because of his past as a warrior. 2 Samuel 18 33, And the king was deeply moved and went up to the chamber over the gate and wept. And as he went, he said, O oh my son Absalom, my son, my son Absalom, would I had died instead of you, O oh Absalom, my son, my son. This verse speaks of David's grief at the death of his son, Absalom, and how he wished he had died instead of him. 2 Chronicles 21 19, And it came to pass, that in the time of his distress, he sought the Lord his God, and humbled himself greatly before the God of his fathers. This verse speaks of David's humility in the face of death and his turning to God for help in his time of need. 1 Chronicles 17 12, When your days are fulfilled and you lie down with your fathers, I will raise up your offspring after you, who shall come from your body, and I will establish his kingdom. This verse speaks of the promise of God to David that he will raise up an offspring of his to establish a kingdom. 2 Samuel 24 25, And David built there an altar to the Lord and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings. So the Lord responded to the plea for the land, and the plague was averted from Israel. This verse speaks of David's prayer to God to end a plague that had afflicted the land, and how God answered his prayer. 1 Chronicles 28 20, Then David said to Solomon his son, Be strong and courageous and do it. Do not be afraid and do not be dismayed, for the Lord God, even my God, is with you. He will not leave you or forsake you, until all the work for the service of the house of the Lord is finished. This verse speaks of David's encouragement to Solomon to build the temple and how God will be with him every step of the way. 2 Samuel 23 5, For does not my house stand so with God? For he has made with me an everlasting covenant, ordered in all things and secure. For will he not cause to prosper all my help and my desire? This verse speaks of David's trust in God and his covenant with him. 1 Kings 2 2, I am about to go the way of all the earth. Be strong, and show yourself a man. This verse speaks of David's last words to Solomon, encouraging him to show courage and strength in the face of adversity. 1 Chronicles 29 10, So David blessed the Lord in the presence of all the assembly. And David said, Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of Israel our Father, forever and ever. 
And this verse speaks of David's blessing to the Lord in the presence of all the people. 1 Chronicles 28 5, And of all my sons, for the Lord has given me many sons, he has chosen Solomon my son to sit on the throne of the kingdom of the Lord over Israel. This verse speaks of God's choice of Solomon to succeed David as king of Israel. 1 Chronicles 28 9, And you, Solomon my son, know the God of your father and serve him with a whole heart and with a willing mind, for the Lord searches all hearts and understands every plan and thought. If you seek him, he will be found by you, but if you forsake him, he will cast you off forever. This verse speaks of David's instruction to Solomon to serve God with all his heart and mind, and how God will be found by those who seek him. 2 Samuel 7 16, And your house and your kingdom shall be made sure forever before me, your throne shall be established forever. This verse speaks of God's promise to David that his kingdom will be established forever. 2 Samuel 23 3, The God of Israel has spoken, the rock of Israel has said to me, when one rules justly over men, ruling in the fear of God. This verse speaks of David's commitment to rule justly and in the fear of God. 1 Kings 1 48-49, And also thus said the king, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has granted someone to sit on my throne this day, my own eyes seeing it. And all the people went up after him, playing on pipes and rejoicing with great joy, so that the earth quaked at their noise. This verse speaks of the joy of the people at the ascension of Solomon as king, and how the earth quaked at their rejoicing. 1 Chronicles 29 21-22, And they sacrificed peace offerings to the Lord, and on the next day offered burnt offerings to the Lord, a thousand bulls, a thousand rams, and a thousand lambs, with their drink offerings, and sacrifices in abundance for all Israel. So they ate and drank before the Lord on that day with great gladness. This verse speaks of the joyous celebration of the people at the ascension of Solomon as king, and their offering of sacrifices to the Lord. 1 Chronicles 29 28, So he died in a good old age, full of days, riches and honor, and Solomon his son reigned in his place. This verse speaks of the death of David and the ascension of Solomon as king. 2 Samuel 23 5, Although my house is not so with God, yet he has made with me an everlasting covenant, ordered in all things and secure. For this is all my salvation and all my desire, will he not make it increase? This verse speaks of the everlasting covenant between God and David, and how God will increase the blessings of salvation and desire. How did King David die? The mysterious death of the beloved King of Israel, PDF, Quiz, Bible Verses, Unique Facts, Classes, Father, Grandfather, Minister, Missionary, Deacon, Elder, Author, Welcome to our family, View all posts.